Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a large four pipe fan coil unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So today we are working on a fan coil unit. It's quite difficult to get in here so here we have some controls. Looks a bit nuts. And then we have this. So this system is actually controlled by BMS, that's building management system. So it works off a computer. They made this hole here. The only thing you can get to is the filters here, pretty large unit. And then the piping is here. And if we look below there, that's the access panel that I was just in. So what's going on is that we have a three phase fan motor here and it's humming. So the engineer wants that replaced along with the motor starter that's inside here. The only thing is, is getting access to that motor. All right, so we're actually in a women's bathroom right now <laughs> and we're in the ceiling. So we just closed down this area. The problem is, you see, the only thing you can really get to here is all the piping and it looks actually horrendous. If we look closer inside this hole, that is where our fan motor is. See, it's even hard to navigate in here with the camera. But right there, that's our fan motor. <clears throat> right? And we gotta get to it. That's the problem. All these pipes are in the way. So the idea is to somehow get some access here. You need like, possibly to put a bigger access panel. To go there or put a second access panel it's gonna be difficult for sure and the thing is right above here there's some pipes it looks to be a drain pipe some broken sheetrock huh drain pipe drain pipe and that's where we gotta cut so we gotta figure something out here it's gonna be difficult all right, so I made a little bit of space. That's the cover in there. Thing is, we gotta make access here and look at this drain pipe. Man, if it wasn't for these pipes right here, I would be able to climb in there. Not enough space, and even if I try to stick my head in there, these pipes are scorching hot, man. How am I gonna do this? I think the best thing would be to make another access panel here. If I can get into this space, I should be able to do it, but look at this too. Got a sink and a air dryer. Let me think. So the motor's on that side, but we need access here. But across, I saw there was another cover and there is an access panel right here. I mean, look at this, you can't even set up your ladder. Let's get my drill in there. Literally like, I've got to climb. Right here. It's the other side. I wonder if I could get in through here. That would be amazing. This, so we got a sheetrock ceiling. And then underneath the sheetrock, this thing is metal, man. I don't want to have to cut that. So we got some 516 screws here. Let's hope we can get some access. All right, guys got there and there's the motor definitely more access like this but I don't have much space to put my legs I gotta figure something out I can touch the motor at least in this position how are we gonna do this you know what I'm realizing right now that's a big beam and look at that, it's welded and it's holding this unit as well as this to the main beam in the frame of the unit. This should hold my weight. Oh man, I hate the idea of it, but I might actually have to jump in here. That should hold me. <laughs> oh my God. I just took out this duct so I have more space. That's looking better. This is crazy. All right. 
I see the nut and bolt there. I can get to him on this side, but this one, how am I gonna get to it? What I'm wondering is if, what if I take off this two bolts and the one over there, I can take this whole plate with me. That would be amazing. Let's see if that lifts up. marked it I'll make sure we put this back in the same place I just need to get to the next two in the back and this motor is gonna come out Whew. oh god guys I'm in the unit itself okay I got the screws marked my plate. I want to make sure it's in this. I'm going to put it back in the same place. And that's just the way it is here. Okay. Got some electrical we got to take out, but... Oh yeah, this is coming with us. It's coming with us. Let's got to disconnect the electrical. All right, all right. The only way is going to be from here. Okay, we gotta get this cable out. Tight in there, guys. I just cut it. This is a three horsepower motor, by the way. This thing ain't light. I don't know where to put my feet. How can I pick that up, man? Look at this craziness. Oh, this motor is super hot. It's been trying to go. All right, Chris, get ready. It's a really heavy motor, man. Put it on the ladder. Rest it on the ladder. You got it? Yeah. All right, hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna come with you. I'll come with you, man. All right, come, go, go down. I'll pass it to you. Let's just put that on the floor. Got it. Okay. 2,000 years later. All right, everyone. I was able to locate a brand new motor. This is a replacement with a new pulley and belt. Just excuse the noise for right now. It's because we're in the chiller room. It is quite noisy. All right guys, so the idea is to mash this up exactly in the same place. So what I did was make some markings with a marker, exactly where the plate for this sits, as well as made a little marking where the bolt sits. So let's unbolt this and get the new one in. But before I do exactly that, let's put the pulley on the new motor because I want this to be exactly matched up. This has to be perfectly straight. So when I drop this in, everything's gonna be aligned. We're gonna begin by sanding down the shaft. You could use sandpaper, hard one, but this will do as well. All right, so we just got this a little bit prepped up. The idea here is gonna be to now take off the bolts, put this in place and try to line this up as best as we can. We need this to be perfect. We have four bolts, so we're just, just going to loosen this up and try to get the new motor in place. All right, we got the four bolts out. And I'm just going to lift that out. As you can see, I did draw where the old motor sat, and I did mark where these screws were. So let's go ahead and get this one dropped inside there. All right, guys, I hope you can see my marking. It's in a blue marker. Everything lines up. The frame is the exact same. That is a beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and put on these nuts and tighten it down. All right, new motor is now secured. I just want to make sure 
that we're gonna be as lined up as possible. Now this is, an, this is also adjustable pull. You wanna make sure that your belt fits. So right now, you see it's pretty nice in there. What I'm gonna do is see how straight this is and just have a look. It looks pretty good. Just wanna make sure that everything is aligned as best as possible until we get up there. And honestly, this is looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is now tighten down the four Allen keys for this and it's gonna be set up. All right, everything's ready to go, nice and secure. So I wanna spend as least amount of time as possible in that ceiling, so what I'm gonna do is wire my motor right now. I got some BX because that wire that was attached to it was so tight and I really don't wanna be crawling in there working with an inch of wire. So what I'm gonna do is actually just make my connections now. I got some BX, run some wires, have this hooked up. So when I come, hopefully I can work a little bit more freely up there and maybe put like a little handy box inside. So I just set up on a table so I can work a little bit more comfortably. Took off the cover here. There's three terminals. No matter what voltage you're using, as this is a dual voltage motor, either high or low, you know, 230 volts or 460. Either way, you gotta connect to these three lines. And the way to change the voltage of the motor itself is this little clip. If you look, it says volt right here, and it says high. So this right now is set up for high. So what you would do is pretty much like take this out and reverse it. Like that, literally just flip it around. So now volt says low, that's right. So now push it in and we just switched the voltage of the motor. Now we can take off this cap. Take our fitting, yep. And let's tighten this down. Just gonna loosen these up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our BX inside with some wire, with some extensions, tighten it down. So now everything will be wired and we got the wires outside the motor. So all I gotta do is just connect three wires at the unit and most likely I'll put it inside one of these little handy boxes. All right guys, the motor is wired. Got that BX running through into that box. Got the wire strip. What I'm gonna do is drill this in somewhere nearby and run the next wire in so everything will be nice and protected and we got some slack now as the other wire pretty much has no space. Let's close this up, let's make our way in there. Okay, let's set this up here, watch it. climb up and you're gonna get on the ladder and, and try to pass it to me right now let's put this in a way it's not gonna fall it's pretty tight let me see all right that's good this job is crazy man all right Chris get on the ladder and try to pass that to me I'm holding it with my hand come up okay got a good grip Pass you like this? Yeah. Pass. That's cool. Right. Okay, something's there. <coughs> All right, hold up. I gotta get my leg like that. about this let's roll this can't I gotta go on the sidewall so I don't too much put too much pressure on the thing we're good Chris we're good we're okay man let me just focus here
The screw is there. Okay. Right there. I can close this. Tighten this. The same for this side. Just real quick. I'm gonna get my drill for that. All right, it's in place. And the thing is, this wire is so short. You see, it would have barely made it in there. So that's why I'm gonna do a little something like this to bring it inside. And, we should, and then we should be okay. Let's wire this up. Guys, the motor is in. I drilled this to the bottom of the unit. That's it, that's looking good. Just gotta put a cover on it. Got the belt on. I think it's looking pretty good. Right there. Oh, man, I really wanna get out of here as soon as possible. should be good I just wired any three wires if it's not going the right way you switch any of the two I did make a video on that I will leave that in the description for three-phase motor how to reverse rotation let's see gotta look at the the air scoops so let's see it's supposed to be going this way so let's make sure when we turn it on we're gonna be going this way all right guys that motor is all in and now here is the motor starter I actually changed this was the old one so i'll try to take some pictures but if you look on this leg line one was burnt out so what was going on is that this motor was single phasing did a little damage to it it's still alive but the engineer wants security and knowing that this machine is going to run so a new motor a motor starter was definitely the way to go so we got that in, got the motor in. It's about time to test this thing. We need to make sure we're going the right rotation and things are aligned. So that controller right there is their building management system. I turn the power on. I do see some kind of light on this relay. So I think something's calling. So if I put this on auto, it'll work off their system. I've put on hand is just, you know, I'm just doing it manually. So I think put on auto if it starts then the thing is calling I just need to make sure the rotation is good it's just I'm literally in the different room I'm on the top of the ladder this whole job is hard so let's see all right I hear it check rotation all right so as soon as I got in here the motor stopped so I'm gonna try to work it off the thermostat but sometimes that's locked out because this works off a uh, computer software so let's try to activate this all right everyone everything's looking good fan is running we're gonna close it up from here if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment subscribe catch you all next